Hello and welcome to Arsenal Online. Here you'll find the latest stories in this busy start to the season for the Gunners. Let's take a quick look at the latest news to emerge from the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal unstoppable against Leicester City. Arsenal continued their undefeated start to the season as they demolished Leicester City 4-2 at the Emirates Stadium in a thrilling encounter starring Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus announced his arrival in style as he made his competitive Emirates debut with a stunning performance, scoring two goals and providing as many assists. In a demolition of the Midlands side, Arsenal swept aside Leicester City, who did try and make a match of it, but it was the Gunners, in front of an ecstatic home crowd, that were on the front foot right from the start, never easing up the pressure on the opposition. It was undoubtedly Jesus's day, who opened up the scoring with a stunning finish from the edge of the six-yard box. The Brazilian then headed home the second from close range. The striker could have then had a hat-trick, but Leicester City's Daniel Amate made a last-ditch challenge to prevent another goal. Jesus was not done there, as he could have got another from close range after brilliant work from Martin Odegaard from Gabriel Martinelli and Granit Xhaka as well but he obviously wasn't wanting to be too greedy and the first half ended with a 2-0 scoreline. Leicester, to be fair, started the second half competitively and they soon got their reward, albeit through William Saliba who was unfortunate enough to head the ball into his own net. He was quickly forgiven though. Arsenal responded very quickly as Ben White's ball was poorly cleared by Danny Ward, which fell to Jesus, who assisted Granit Xhaka to take his first goal of the season. Arsenal then dominated the remainder of the match, but were unlucky to concede again as James Madison shot through the legs of Aaron Ramsdale into the back of the net. But this was the Gunners' party, and once again they responded as Jesus... Who else? Teed up with Martinelli, who took a well-timed shot from outside the box to crush any resolve Leicester had left, and they sealed the three points. The score could have been much, much higher. There were so many opportunities for the Gunners to take. Jesus will be the man most happy and frustrated in equal measure, as he could have scored more goals, but what a performance from him! and the team as a whole, who have maintained their 100% start to the season and will be looking forward to the next game now as they travel to face Bournemouth away next Saturday. Here are our player ratings for yesterday's game. Aaron Ramsdale, 7 out of 10. It was a much improved performance and there was nothing he could have done about Saliba's own goal, but he did take his eye off the ball for Madison's. Ben White, 8 out of 10, he was impressive. He didn't let anything get past him while he contributed in the attacking third. He played a major role in the third Arsenal goal, but was taken off with a knock with 15 minutes left to play. We hope it's nothing serious. William Saliba, 8 out of 10. The youngster can do no wrong, not even when he gets an own goal. He was quickly forgiven by the Arsenal home crowd and it didn't dint his confidence. He barely made any mistakes for the rest of the game. Gabriel Margolais, 7 out of 10. A cool performance from Gabriel who's always reliable and now enjoying more space to operate from. He kept Leicester's attackers well in check. Alexander Zinchenko, 8 out of 10. Flawless display, what a signing. The Ukrainian took up some advanced positions, always found himself helping the attacking unit. In defence, he was composed. He took control of any developing situation easily. Thomas Party, 7 out of 10. Party controlled the midfield expertly, but his passing was not always great. However, he was unlucky not to get on the score sheet. His Passes played forward really opened up Leicester. 
Granite Zaka, 9 out of 10. This is the Zaka we would like to see every week on the pitch. Outstanding, with a goal to reward his efforts. Who needs Telemons? Martin Odegaard, 8 out of 10. A much better performance today. Great passing moves and always reliable. He's leading the team with confidence. Bukayo Saka, 6 out of 10. Did you ever think we would give a rating like that? But while Je Jesus and Martinelli were running wild up front, young Saka had a quieter day by his standards. The winger was there and present, but he wasn't as dangerous this time out. Gabriel Jesus, 10 out of 10. There is no other score that can be given the Brazilian. Undoubtedly man of the match. Jesus put in a stunning performance in his first competitive game at the Emirates Stadiums for Arsenal. Manchester City fans must be scratching their heads as to why he was allowed to leave. Two goals and it could have been much more and as many assists. It made the Gunners fans go crazy with joy. Gabriel Martinelli, 9 out of 10. While Jesus deservedly took all the plaudits, Martinelli was not far behind him performance-wise. They seem to be bringing the best out of each other. He scored another superb goal to put the results beyond Leicester's reach and he was a constant thorn in the Foxes' defence. As substitutes, Takiro Tomiyasu, we give him 6 out of 10. He replaced Ben White with 15 minutes to go. He did a decent job covering the right back spot. This will help him get back in better shape. And these were good minutes that were under his belt. Kieran Tierney, 5 out of 10. Again, more minutes under the belt for Tierney, who replaced Sinchenko to see out the game. And Emile Smith-Rowe got a 5 out of 10. It was good to see him being eased back into the squad after his injury troubles. And finally, Eddie Nketiah got 6 out of 10. He looks like a quality striker. He's developing all the time and he will be adequate cover for Jesus if he's needed. What a performance. The Gunners are firing on all their guns at the moment in a perfect start to this new Premier League season. Thank you for watching our channel. Please subscribe. Ring that bell if you would like the latest news from the Gunners.